This video will show you the enhanced tree extraction workflow in PBC 510. I will demonstrate it with an SX10 dataset, which has been classified ahead, and only the ground region and the high vegetation region are left on. Click the banner to see how the point cloud has been classified automatically in PBC. To extract trees along with their attributes, I will first import a feature code library and an EXL mapping file. In the point clouds tab, open the command of extract point feature. Make sure tree is your extraction type. Starting from 510, you can open the settings window to customize where the trunk diameter should be measured above the ground. The major changes happen in the automatic extraction mode. Let's take a look. First, set up the starting point ID and the feature code. Make sure the attribute fields are properly mapped. Then click Extract Tree Attributes. We have added a progress bar for you to monitor the automatic tree extraction. It serves as an indicator in case the dataset is big and you want to see where TBC is in real time. Now the extraction is done. Immediately you can see some modification is required. Instead of removing or editing these trees after they are added to the project, we can now validate them right away. This traveling salesman path in light green color will make sure that we visit each tree in the result without missing or revisiting any trees. You may toggle this path on and off. Let's start with the first tree. Pick one of your favorite. Right click and choose temporary object. Then check the mark button. TBC will mark this tree in a different color so that when we are closing the loop, we know where to stop. From this tree, you may use the left or the right key buttons to go through all the trees. If you are a keyboard fan, use these hotkey combinations. I will use the hotkeys in this demo. And to truly go along with the path, stick with one direction. Now rotate and zoom to validate the second tree. If you need a closer look, you may click the Limit Box button to activate a temporary limit box around the target tree, so the surrounding noise can be blocked. Deactivate the box when you are ready to move on. The third tree is not looking great. Due to some noise in the point cloud, TBC returned a bad height. Simply highlight the tree height box, then come back to the 3D view to measure a new value. Snap to the top point and a ground point. The new height is now calculated. The third tree is actually a building pillar. To remove it from this collection, check the Ignore button. The symbol is now in red, and this tree will no longer be added to the project. Keep moving. 
since the traveling salesman path is used, we're always jumping to a nearby tree, meaning less disorientation and better navigation experience. Not only can you remove a tree, but the location and the attributes of a tree can be edited. This tree is not located correctly, and the height is off as well. To move the position, highlight in the horizontal box, then snap to a point on the trunk. Then you can measure the height as before. Keep moving on. We're now closing the loop back at the original point, the tree that was marked. With all the trees validated in this loop, it's time to add them to the project. Click Add and select Yes. Look around. As you can see, the tree grown from the pillar is gone. And this extremely tall tree is back to normal if we check the property. If there are still trees you'd like to add manually, feel free to switch to the manual mode. Thank you for watching.